हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी मेजर एक्स्ट्रा एंड इंट्रा सेल्युलर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स राइट सो दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू राइट सो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट 56 परसेंट ऑफ द एडल्ट ह्यूमन बॉडी इज फ्लूड राइट सो जस्ट इमेज इन फिफ्टी ऑफ एडल्ट ह्यूमन बॉडी इज नथिंग बट फ्लूड ओनली ऑल मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्लूड इज Inside the cells, right? Those are called the intracellular. Those who will be inside the cells are called the intracellular. But uh, above uh, about uh, one third part is uh, in outside of the cells that those are called the extracellular, right? So those will be there inside the cell, intracellular, or outside of the cell, it will be called the extracellular, right? So what is that? An electrolyte is any substance. that dissociate into ions in aqueous solution right this electrolyte whenever it will be go into the aqueous solution it will be dissociate right so what is the different types of ions ion can be positively charged ion it may be cation or it may be negatively charged ion those are called the anion right so now we are here to discuss about the different electrolytes which will be useful right so the major electrolytes in the body are uh, in the human body are the first one sodium like uh, na plus right so it is positively positive charge means cation potassium k plus it is also cation electrolyte calcium ca double plus potent cation electrolytes magnesium mg double plus right whereas fifth one chloride ion cl minus minus means anionic uh, electrolytes F the phosphate hpo4 minus sulfate so4 minus bicarbonate hco3 minus so these are the cation these are the sorry these are the anion these are the cation right so that we have to understand now physiological role it will be asked generally in exam so when we talk about the physiological role of uh, all these electrolytes so the first one the sodium na plus right so which is the cationic electrolyte it is having role in the excitability of muscles and neurons so we know that in the body different parts uh, may be in hand legs and other all other parts will be having different types of muscles and neurons will be there in the uh, near this uh, uh, medulla oblongata and uh, in spinal cord so in this uh, different neurons will be there so uh, their excitability it will be depending upon the sodium ion and it is also regulating body uh, fluid balance right fluid fluid balance is very very important because 56% of the body it is composed with the body fluid and it has to be balanced it has to be the volume has to be proper or that will be done by the sodium and uh, it regulate the kidney function the kidney is the most uh, important excretory organ where it will be having lots of reabsorption and uh, a uh, screening process over there which after that it is going to eliminate the liquid uh, discharge so it will regulate it function because of, because lack of sodium it will not be possible control renal blood pressure because it is renal blood pressure is very very important here in kidney itself uh, there will be some kinds of osmosis osmotic pressure it will be creating that will be balanced by sodium ion and it stimulate the aldosterone release from adrenal gland right that is also important coming to the potassium k plus it is the intracellular or inside of the cell it will be there so it will manage the functioning of muscle neurons sensory receptors etc it regulation of it participate in the regulation of fluid balance or fluid level same like a sodium it maintaining ph balance into the body right so that is also very very important now coming to the third one that is called calcium right so when we talk about calcium ca plus plus extracellular it is extracellular electrolyte it uh, participate it maintenance of healthy bone and teeth that's what we know that uh, calcium is very important for our bone and our teeth right and uh, it will be also participate in transmission of nerve impulses right uh, clotting of blood and contraction of muscles so it is having uh, major important role right coming to the fourth one magnesium mg plus plus intracellular inside of the cell it this electrolyte will be there so its role is in the sodium potassium pump right so whenever the sodium potassium pump it will be there whenever the interchange of the these ions uh, it will play the major role to uh, in that pump and uh, also it will be having muscle contraction function mm -hmm. bone and teeth production and the aldosterone control whatever the aldosterone it has been Uh, secreted by the uh, uh, what do you call by adrenal gland by the presence of sodium that will be controlled by the magnesium so each and every once uh, these electrolytes uh, cationic electrolytes you can see the most of the function it is almost same like they are balancing the body fluid and uh, they are maintaining the ph of the body right 
Coming to the uh, anionic types or anionic uh, parts, uh, the fifth one that is the chloride ion Cl minus. It is extracellular. It regulates osmotic pressures and also the pH balance. pH balance also came here also, right? So in all the electrolytes, we are seeing that pH balance. It is very very important function which will be done by the these electrolytes. The sixth one is phosphate HPO4 minus, right? So this, since it is anionic electrolytes, it uh, it synthesis uh, synthesize the uh, uh, nucleic acid synthesis of nucleic acid it will be done and uh, it maintains of pH balance in the body the seventh one phosphate uh, SO4 minus like uh, again it is in anionic electrolytes uh, it will be uh, uh, participate in the sulfonation uh, it will be done uh, sulfonation will be done by the phosphate cell growth and biosynthesis and uh, detoxification it will be uh, done by the phosphate ion coming to the eighth one bicarbonate H CO3 minus okay so since it is minus it is anionic electrolyte okay it is alkaline in nature or that's what it is pH buffering system of the body it will be there and 75% uh, of carbon dioxide which will be uh, produced uh, by the uh, body it will be converted into the carbonic acid H2CO3 and uh, then it will turn into the bicarbonate HCO3 right so that's what it will also play uh, the major role into the balancing of body fluid because of this protecting tissues in central nervous system cns whenever whatever different types of cells and tissues will be there which will be protected by the bicarbonate and a small intestine uh, ph it will be regulated by this particular uh, ion right so we have discussed around eight types of uh, uh, electrolytes uh, which are uh, extracellular or maybe intracellular or they are having their own important physiological role into the most of the role we have seen the uh, ph ba ph balance uh, balancing of body fluid balancing of electrolytes uh, and uh, strengthening of muscles uh, nerves uh, contraction of muscles uh, bone and teeth strengthening so these are the important physiological role of these intra and extracellular electrolytes thank you